Let's say I got a different a project here that I want to use. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the web map tile service. This is a uh, the, the the technology preview, if you will, uh, the public technology preview for update 15. If you have update 14 or earlier, you're not going to see that in the raster manager. But in raster manager, we're going to see you know an option for WMTS. Now, if I had the time, what I was planning on showing you was what you just saw with a WMS and the fact that as you zoom in and out, right, you're paying a penalty every time it updates. The geometry, it goes, you know, the, the, the resolution of the image changes. It looks terrible, it takes a minute, a second or two, and then it updates it, right? So, but every time you zoom in, zoom out, you're paying a penalty for that. WMTS removes some of that. And let me show you a little bit with that. Let's say I got a project now, this one happens to be in the Netherlands, right? And what I wanna start with, is I'm going to be working in the city of Eindhoven and I need to have like a topo map, something showing me some of the same types of data you saw in the one that I showed you a moment ago in Florida. But what I want you to remember as we go through and do this, remember how I zoomed in and out and I had to wait a second for that to display. Here, if I go to a new, because that's what we're creating, a new WMTS, I'm going to go select. The dialog looks pretty much the same. There are some differences, but I'm going to go select a, a particular uh, server. Again, you know, the servers that are here, these are free servers that you can connect to. There is no guarantee that some of these are actually going to, to be there tomorrow, okay? So we're gonna select this one here. This happens to be for the Netherlands. And you'll see, as I mentioned, there's an option in here for many different web map tile services, different layers that can be attached. I'm going to come down and, it, and select the one for topo, and I'm going to add that to my map. You'll notice instantly when I go to select this, I see that there aren't as many options, right? I don't need to because this is using tiles and it's storing different tiles at different resolutions. Uh, so when I go to preview, for example, there is my image that it's going to use. So I'll say, let's go ahead and save and attach this. and. I'm just going to call this Topo NL for Netherlands, and let's attach that. So when I hit save, uh, up pops my raster attachment and so on. In fact, you'll notice there's less options in here as far as geo priority and so on. When I hit attach, it quickly attaches it. And the first thing you see is there it is on your, on your screen, right? In fact, I'll zoom in and i'm going to do this slowly so we can talk about uh, talk about this a little bit if we take a look what do we see on the screen you see some of the roads you see some of the cities in there and i know it's really small but you also see the uh the national boundaries and i'm going to zoom in on the city that i want to work in just once that looks about the same i'll zoom in again you can see it start to clear up a little bit the resolution is a little bit better you can see some of the forested areas you see the national boundaries some of the main roads as I continue to zoom in, you see the map update and you start to see things like secondary roads pop in, right? It's much faster than what you saw in the WMS. It's not trying to fit the whole image. It's doing what's on the screen and the tiles that are required. As I continue to zoom in again, you got city, more cities start to appear. You couldn't see Helmand earlier. As I zoom in on Eindhoven, you can see it update again. Now I start to see some of the more forested areas that appear there. As I zoom into the city area itself, you can see some of the local streets start to appear, blocks start to appear, neighborhoods and, well, actually smaller towns and cities start to appear. And as I get in a little closer, you'll start to see neighborhoods start to appear. Areas of the city, there's the neighborhoods. There's the individual blocks themselves. We zoom in even further, you start to see the buildings appear. Zoom in again. Uh, Got to go in a little bit further than that. Let's, uh, there we go. We start to see traffic flow uh, in here. We start to see buildings that appear. And if I keep zooming in, I start to see the addresses, uh, individual street lights, and so on and much, much faster than what we had for the WMS, okay? This is in public technology preview right now. Um, please go take a look at it. Um, you know, give us your feedback. 
Um, you know, there's a few servers that are out there. Definitely not the whole world, every area. I'm showing uh, this area because I couldn't find one that matched up perfectly with what I needed in uh, in South Florida. But you get a good idea from this by playing around with what this is really capable of. This will certainly be a nice game changer for anybody that uses raster data. At this point, I'm right at the amount of time. I kind of went through that a little quick at the end, but wanted to show you, um, you know, kind of cover starting off with what we missed last time, a little bit about WMSs and then a little bit about WMTS. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.